everybody, it's me, Mrs. Carter, and I just wanted to show you a special project that we're going to be doing today because Farmer Miner is coming, right? So he brings a special pig and you have a challenge to read a lot of books, right? I think it's 500 books and Ms. Baylor is gonna kiss the pig. So she gave you a lot of different fun pig activities and I thought we could do something with recycling. So if you're at home, eating eggs like we are at our house we eat a lot of eggs you might have an egg carton and so i cut off a piece of an egg carton you can see this is where the egg would be and i just cut a little piece off and we're going to turn this into a pig nose so i'm going to turn you down so you can see how to turn an egg carton or an egg crate into a pig nose for farmer miner hi everybody so here i have my egg carton and I need some materials. I need some pink materials for my pink pig and black for the snout, the nostril. So I grabbed a crayon and a marker to see what would work best. And last but not least, I need a pair of scissors to cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut out around to make my egg carton look more like that snout. And I wanna make sure when I cut, I use the back of my scissors. So if I open my scissors big, like if it's a mouth, it would be the back, not the front. And if you need help with this, you can ask a family member to help you cut this out to make the snout, but give it a try first yourself. See if you can figure it out, but it depends on what your egg carton is made out of. If it's anything that would be sharp, I would ask a family member to help cut this snout part out first. But my egg carton is kind of this foamy like material. So I can cut this and there'd be no sharp edges. So if that's the kind that you have, give it a try. You can see I'm going around and I have little spots I could trim to make smoother. But remember, does it have to be perfect? No, it doesn't have to be perfect. So now let me check this out. Does this look good? I think so. And now I'm gonna be coloring this pink. I can try with a pink crayon. That comes out pretty good. I can also try with a pink marker. So let's give the marker a shot. That's a little bit darker. So I like mixing both together. I think that looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my marker on here and then I'm gonna do some of my pink crayon as well. So go ahead and find what pink materials you have. You could also use pink paint, but I don't know if everybody would have pink paint at home. So we also wanna make sure we use materials that we have at home. So if I put my fingers behind here, it makes a good surface for me to color this all in. And this is gonna take some time to color, right? So we wanna, Fill it in and make sure there's no little spots. So I'm gonna do this in fast motion for you. Are you ready to see me finish this one up? So now my pig snout is all pink. Now, I didn't get to fill it in because of the texture perfectly. It's not totally smooth. So if you want it to be totally, totally pink, Pink paint would be a really good choice. Now, if you're gonna use pink paint, all you need is white paint and red paint if you don't have pink, because pink is actually a tint of red. A tint means that it's lighter. So if I take red and I add a little bit of white, I can make pink paint. So try to paint it if you don't like this look. But I had these two different pinks, and this is what I used to fill in my pink snout. Now, all I need left is to do my snout nostrils so I'm going to do a circle for a nostril on this side which is a little circle and I'm gonna come over here and do the same circle right next to it on the other side and now I have my pig snout last but not least I want to turn my pig snout into a mask, but not a mask for my eyes it's a mask for my nose now I can have a family member put some tape on the inside of my snout, or I can try, and I can hook it up to a piece of string so that it goes around my head, but you wanna measure it out so that it's the right size. Another thing you can do is take some sort of popsicle stick or anything that's a stick. I'm gonna use a pencil because that's what I have, so don't worry if you don't have everything that you need. We make, be we make 
best with what we have, right? So I'm gonna tape a pencil on the inside of my pig snout so that I can hold it up like a mask. And now I have my pig snout for Farmer Miner. So when you're watching your Farmer Miner video that's coming your way, you can become a pig. And now all you have to do is practice your pig snort. You wanna hear my pig snort? <laughs> Bye everybody.